In today's video, we'll talk about that what is Jira and why we need the Jira. So let's say that uh, you started a project called Project A, and in this in this project you have a ten member, and then in this ten member you have a thirty task. So let's say you want to manage the project. Let's say that in ten member you want to distribute the task, and first stage you want to uh, complete the three task or ten task, and then second stage you want to complete that twenty task, something like that. In that case, to managing these projects or managing all the members in your team, we need some kind of tools which can manage that, uh, which can manage all these task distribution. Let's say that as a manager, I am the manager. I want to know that who all are working for which task, and then um, you know once they completed that, I can assign a new task, right? And then once they have completed that, we can uh, move that task and um, uh, explain the uh, stakeholder, external stakeholder that to complete this project, it will take this many uh, days, right? So for that, we need basically a tools and that tools is very good um, in market. The very good tools is the Jira. So what we can do using this project, we can do a project visualization. So let's say that I have started this project today and then Jira can have visualized that within the 30 days or maybe within the uh, six months, I will go, I'm going to complete this project. That can be done by the Jira visualization, right? And then we can break down all the tasks, like one, two, three, four, like the task name, task details, and then we can assign to particular member with the great details like who are doing what, and then uh, how many, uh, you know, what is the priority. And this way we can basically uh, manage our complete project. So Jira is a, uh, basically you can say that project management tools and now it can have, you know, you can create the incident. I mean, you can do ITSM also, like create incident change and request also nowadays. So let's understand in a, uh, you know, what is the Jira? So Jira is a project management tools developed by Atlassian. So basically the Jira product is developed by the company name is the Atlassian. So it's the Australian company that is primarily uh, used for issue tracking, bug tracking and project management. So basically idea is that Jira is used for the project management. So one, what is the issue tracking or bug tracking? Let's say that you are building a software and then building the software, you need the 10 features, right? These 10 features we are calling as the issue tracking. So these 10 features will be tracked, like who is working on which uh, issue. And when you develop this 10 feature, there could be bug on these uh, features. Let's say the three bug is there on this 10 features, right? So this bug will be also, will be done by, I mean, tracked by the Jira. And let's say that uh, when you're tracking those uh, using the Jira, right? So you, let's say you are tracking those Jira, you want to know that who is working, right? and which stage it is. Let's say that someone is working, maybe someone is, someone's development is done, so that also you can track that. It allows team to plan, track, and manage, manage their work using Agile methodology, such as Scrum and Kanban. So uh, Agile have a various methodologies. You can use the Scrum, you can use the Kanban, or you can use your own method, and using that you can track or plan our task, basically. So to tracking, in a high level to tracking our task, we need the um, Jira. So why we need the Jira? So there are in the market, there are a lot of uh, tools available, but why we need the Jira? So basically Jira is a user friendly. So user can easily understand that from where or from, I mean, they do, you don't need to explain them much. They can know that from where I should go and how we can create the issue, how we can create the bug, how can I assign that? So it's a very, uh, user understandable. Secondly, fully customizable. So let's say that each a project have a different flow. So in, a, in our project, maybe after development, someone other is going to be moved to the production or something like that, right? So each project have a different, different, I mean, um, idea, different, different things, right? So some project they are, uh, you know, directly discussing and then they are directly developing and everything they are doing by their own self. Maybe some project there is no development phase. Let's say that you are managing something management project. So each project have a various process, various phases, all we can customize under the Jira, right? We can change the project name, we can uh, change the agile methodology, we can change that who should be assigned to that uh, issue whenever the issue will be created, all can be customizable. 
then under the Jira there are many plugins available free plugins available paid plugin available depending on your use cases you want to export you want to import you want to do uh, integration with the slack for communication so there are many plugins available inside the Jira paid plugins and free plugins and last not the least the reporting so you can do a report like last three months what are the story or issue we have completed uh, last uh, you know uh, three months what are the bugs is created who is work on which bug all we can do uh, reporting and reporting is nowadays very important uh, role for any of this project right so that's the reason Jira is a um, very much famous now I'll show you uh, how the Jira tools look like in a glimpse in overview. So let's check that. So this is my Jira board and you can see this Jira have a one, you will get a one workspace. So this might be your ID, okay. For your project or for your team, Jira will give you one cloud um, environment that may be any of this link, okay. Now this is Jira platform. Here you can add 10, 20 members. So 10 or 20 members will be come to here and they uh, know that which is the what all task for them. And they, they can move their task from one state to the another state like this one. They can just come move this uh, state one by one. Under this roadmap, you can see that uh, when this Jira, uh, you know, this Jira project will be completed. So right now I am in this date and this all are completed and this is going to be complete and this is going to be complete by using that we can know that the, this this all is going to be completed on when and how, how and we can export the details let's say when we are planning that let's say i'm planning for that we can do export that image and send to a stakeholder so this is how it's a very simple thing i mean uh, and this is so much simple that you can just uh, you know this is we call epic and under the epic we can create the task and then you can simply create the task here and then you can mention that so it's just very much simple uh, very much user friendly i can simply type any call uh, test one two three something like that and this task will be automatically created so creating task managing the project um, it's very much simple and you can see it's have a cross and it means that this project or this task is done basically right so this way we can manage our uh, activity uh, we can assign uh, so you can simply go to this let's say that this task is getting created you can simply assign to this task so let's say i'm assigning somebody you can double click and then assign to particular user so it's a very much simple uh, process and you can see depending on our use cases it's a customizable so let's say today i need that uh, the state um, let's say that i'm going to create a issue and in this issue at that moment issue type is epic and task but i can create our my own issue type so what are the fields will be there in this uh, uh, pages or if i want to create any custom field i can do so it's very customizable user friendly and manageable uh, so to um, project so that's the reason this jira is like so many people and also this uh, for each uh, each organization they will give that a dedicated url let's say in my case it's this is my url for each organization they will dedicated url and then this url will be accessible by that organization member only let's say that 10 20 or 100 member they can access this um, url if their profile is created and then they can uh, you know work or whatever task is going to be assigned to them so that's it for today if you have any question let me know in my comment section Thank you very much. Have a great day.